Hello everyone, welcome to Yourpedia Education. So today I'm going to start a series on GRE exam. So GRE is a very popular exam if you want to go to USA for master's PhD. Um, many students actually scared from this exam as they think like this exam is very difficult, but actually it's not. So uh, here I'm going to start a series on all the information about GRE exam from very beginning. So first of all, my this video is only about what is GRE exam. So its full form is graduate record exam and uh, who has to write this exam? So the prospective applicants who want to go to USA, Singapore and some European universities like ETH Zurich or TU Munich or WTH in Germany. So if you are targeting these universities for master's, for PhD or MBA, you have to write this GRE exam. So uh, this exam is only about your aptitude. It will not check your English proficiency. For English proficiency, there are different exams like IELTS, TOEFL, Duolingo. GRE, it is only about your aptitude. It will not check how you speak, how you write. Uh, it will only check your aptitude, your English aptitude as well as your mathematics aptitude. So if I talk about duration of this exam, it is about three hours and 45 minutes, pretty long exam. So there are different section in between. You will get some 10 minutes break also, but overall duration is around three hours 45 minutes so you can write this exam from some test center also you can write this exam from your home also so home edition is also also available after covid so if i talk about the total marks so it is a exam of 340 total marks so out of that 170 is about quantitative aptitude and 170 is for verbal reasoning the quantity aptitude is nothing, it's mathematics uh, and verbal reasoning is nothing, it's basically English. So there are two type of sections. One is math, other one is English. So totally it is 340. And there is third section that is called analytical reading. Uh, so its score is not included in this 340. Uh, you have to uh, basically whatever you write, you will get a different score for that. That is out of six. So most of the universities consider only this 340 total mark score and they generally don't consider this analytical writing portion. Uh, but if you are targeting Ivy League universities like MIT, Stanford, they will check your analytical score also. So uh, if I briefly talk about this exam, uh, it has basically three type of sections. First is analytical writing. You will get two questions. Each question, uh, you'll get 30 minutes to write essays. So analytical writing is about essays and you will get a score out of six. Finally, when you write these two essays. So sometimes you find this section in the very beginning and sometimes you find this section in the last of the exam. So once this section is over, 30 minutes for one question, 30 minutes for another question, you will get a break of 5-10 minutes. So after that, your actual exam starts. So either you will get English section or you will get quantitative aptitude or mathematics section. So you will get two sections of math, two sections of English. Uh, mathematics section, every section will contain 20 questions. for verbal reasoning every section will contain 20 questions and there are two sections i'll talk about uh, talk in detail about this these things and finally one more thing when you're writing this exam every time you will get a dummy section dummy section means like you will get dummy section either from math or from english and uh, uh, it will be not its score will not be calculated in your final score it is just to check the level of the exam for future students who are going to write GRE exam. So that's why uh, they put some question. They want to check the difficulty of that section. 
but this is clear like you will get one dummy section but it is not clear like which section you will get if you're getting three sections of mathematics it means one section is dummy and you never uh, find out like which section was dummy it is not mentioned so you have to do every section very uh, consciously don't think like if this section is difficult this is dummy it's not not like that many students lose their marks because they are thinking it is a dummy section and they leave that section but actually it's not so this is about overall what is gre general test or gre exam uh, i will talk in detail in my next video about different section how much time you will get and how many questions you will get in each section so stay with your video thank you